Hello friends and thanks for tuning in. My name is John Marquis and I am the founder and CEO here at My Builder CPA. Now we're going to talk about job software online payment entry. Most builders have no idea what this is and they definitely know they definitely do not know why it's important to them. We'll use Builder Trend as the example here because it's the situation that I'm most familiar with. <clears throat> so Many builders send owner invoices from Builder Trend, which is fantastic. And it allows the builder to get paid electronically and quickly, which we're all in favor of that. A lot of times Builder Trend will process these invoices and they will combine them into batches and then they will deposit them into your bank account. And you are probably ecstatic that the funds have shown up, which is great. <laughs> Um, but it shows up in one lump sum deposit, uh, which can be problematic for getting this recorded. And it can certainly be problematic as far as getting these owner invoices marked as paid. And then you look like a fool if you turn around and ask a homeowner for more money from an invoice that they already paid. <clears throat> so in the background, based on the same frequency that we're doing your transaction entry, here at My Builder CPA, we will make sure that all of those owner invoices are prop properly entered into QuickBooks, combined in undeposited funds, fees recorded, and matched to the deposit. So therefore, when you and the rest of your team are working in Builder Trend, you have an accurate picture of which owner invoices have been paid versus the ones that have not. And this all integrates seamlessly with QuickBooks. It matches in the bank feed. The risk, <laughs> if you're not doing this, in, if, you, if you're not doing this right, the risk is that Builder Trend will record these transactions into a pending bank deposit in QuickBooks, also known as undeposited funds. Undeposited funds, turns out, is a really abstract concept. I've met so many accountants who do not understand undeposited funds, let alone home builders. So I, at this point, I have very low expectations that anyone understands undeposited funds. I'm sure I have another video on it somewhere. Feel free to check that out. Feel free to Google it. it the best thing I can compare it to is you drive around to all of your job sites, you pick up a check from each homeowner, you put them in your pocket, you take them to the bank, that short time that they were in your pocket, that is the equivalent of undeposited funds. And then when you get to the bank teller, unless you tell them otherwise, they're gonna take all of those checks and run them through as one deposit. And then when you have a bookkeeper working in your bank feed in QuickBooks and they see this one big massive deposit, QuickBooks is going to push them into, it's going to corner them into adding that transaction as revenue. So now you have duplicated your revenue because all of those owner invoices hit as revenue. And then when your bookkeeper added them into the bank feed, it counted them as revenue again. Don't let your bookkeeper do any kind of funny business where they're adding transactions in the bank feed to accounts receivable. We don't want to see any of that. Uh, we don't want in and out all this stuff. We want it done the right way. We want Builder Trend to post the owner invoices into a bank deposit, which is known as undeposited funds. It will create journal entries for the fees, which is fantastic. All you have to do is look at all the transactions that were deposited on the same date, select all, and complete the deposit, it will match to the bank feed. Don't forget, if you don't have the three key pieces of data mapped, which are the customer, the vendor, and the cost code, the transaction will not come into the bank deposit at all. And then you will be dealing with another issue where when you click all of the transactions in undeposited funds, it's not going to tie to the amount on the bank feed and you'll be in a world of hurt not knowing why. 
So we at My Builder CPA set out to prevent this pain and this agony on your behalf. We get it sorted for you behind the scenes and we make sure that everywhere you have an owner invoice, it is accurate whether it's paid or not because the last thing that we need is you looking like a fool chasing down the wrong homeowners for payment. As always, if you have any questions about this or any of our other services, don't hesitate to drop a comment or shoot me an email. Have a great day.